I'm sure that was meaningful. <laughs> Apparently I was wrong. There was no way they could have caught up to him. It was just too fast. I would not use that to hide. For one simple reason. It's the only out of place object in that field. And if I was them, I would check this place. Well, thank God there's just enough oil in there to hide in it. <laughs> I wonder how this tank even got here. He probably should have ran to the other side, huh? With all those trees? Would have been much easier. Instead, he ran to this open field. Yeah, I must have loved this muchas veces. Let's look at this, can see it. Ooh, will he become an informant in the end? <laughs> One way to get out of here. I mean, he can't really kill anyone anyway, except for Lalo maybe. So fighting would be kind of pointless from a viewer's perspective. A viewer who knows Breaking Bad. You want the cartel to blame me for Lalo? But if they catch me, make me talk. <sighs> is not good for you, is it? Even if I disappear, everyone's gonna smell your stink all over it. <laughs> Everyone will smell chicken. This has got Huel's name written all over it. Huel? Yeah. He knows Huel from your hearing. Yeah, but if we do it right, Huel will be invisible. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> I mean, Huel is many things, but invisible is not one of them. He's a client of Jimmy McGill's. One Jorge de Guzman. This is Eduardo Salamanca. Same person. He died in a massive firefight at his compound. If Salamanca duped him, then the lawyer-client privilege was obtained in bad faith. You want Jimmy to rat on a client? He's dead anyway. Underneath it all, underneath all of his showiness, he's a lawyer and a human being. And I think he knows what's right. But does he care about what is right? <laughs> what? How did they arrange that so fast? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Excuse My bad. No worries. Excuse me. Well, that wasn't really invisible. <laughs> Don't you question how you lost that key, boy? How <laughs> did it drop out of your pocket? Why do you do all this? I know from the outside this looks like just another scam, but a couple months from now there are people whose lives are going to be way better. We're making a real difference. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> We're doing the Lord's work here. <laughs> He's not buying it. <laughs> and who would? Erickson seems to think that if Lalo lied to you and you didn't know about the pseudonym that you could break confidentiality. She wants you to talk. She says it's right. Do you want to be a friend of the cartel, or do you want to be a rat? <laughs> He's already a rat. So it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Bolsa will want to hear the truth from you before the Salamancas have you. Their methods take too long for his taste. They skipped a lot here, huh? They skipped how they got him. They skipped the beating. Once you say it, you get to your feet. You start running as fast as you can. And Victor, he'll handle it. He puts me down, you mean? There's no way he goes down like it's planned. Because they skipped so much, it would be way too rushed. There's got to be more. Was Alvarez? Los Ojos out of Peru. 
They paid me to set up your nephew. <laughs> you think the chicken man? <laughs> what a joke. And you know what else, Hector? I put you in that chair. Your heart meds. I switched them for sugar pills. So when you are sitting in your shitty nursing home and you're sucking down on your jello night after night. <laughs> Dude, what? Oh. Nice way to throw away his storyline. <laughs> now the entire cartel business, the entire cartel storyline is pretty much dead. Just Lalo still hanging around, great. Now he's going to piss on him or what? <laughs> <laughs> Is he even hitting him? 